Okay, moving on in. Um, funny thing over the, just over the last couple of days, I guess Skepta has a thing for Pretty Patel. Um, he posted a picture of her on his um, Twitter account, and the Twitter sphere went crazy about it. People were saying she's gonna deport you, bro. How can you support her? Blah 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 blah. And it's just like, what? How triggering was it, right? One image of Pretty Patel sitting in the House of Commons, looking rather voluptuous, uh, looking rather wide hip, looking like she's dragging an absolute wagon behind there um and just looking pretty scrumptious right got that kind of hey are you gonna are you gonna be on that ps5 all day look right wherever it may be but it's just funny because number one i didn't know i again i wasn't paying attention to politics prior to starting this podcast or prior to lockdown now there's nothing else to really keep you know keep me entertained so i've kind of learned about pretty patel in the last what few months or so and she does really divide opinion in it if anything most people on twitter seem to hate her but i guess that's because i follow a lot of left-leaning people but she doesn't um, especially when you consider that she's a minority and a woman in politics, she doesn't get any of the grace that you'd think or benefit of doubt you'd think that she should get for her um, for her ethnic and whatever what yeah ethnic background or whatever or racial background right you'd think that you did kind of prop her up a bit more she'd get a bit more you know airtime she'd be um, hosting pound discussions about women in politics and doing all that nonsense but if anything because she's a tory and because she um is what a race denier or she is a what would you call them in in an, in an asian indian world would you say she's a banana right is that a thing that they say i don't know whatever it may be right or coconut whatever uh people tend to kind of or people everyone accuses her of and then i guess skeptic bear the brunt of some of that because he posts a picture of her and uh, people are now you know essentially going off to skeptic which is weird um um, I guess it's weird for him in general because you know if 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 anyone is Teflon in the UK is Skepta right only only Skepta could have two close friends one what one in prison for rape and you know in what you call it, and kidnapping the other one in prison for manslaughter and have enough nothing and have it not affect his career whatsoever zero again I'm not into canceling I'm not into that whatsoever I don't give a shit but it does back up my opinion that council culture doesn't exist for black people it just doesn't um you know how long did it take for R. Kelly to finally be brought to justice? Bill Cosby, right? It was, and these, but both of these individuals were well known within their own societies to be creeps and to be bad actors, bad dudes, right? But it took years and years and years of, you know, and it only really changed because of the current climate, right? But especially in the in the post Me Too era, it was just impossible for R. Kelly to exist, right? He just had to get cancelled in some way, shape, or form. Same can be said for Bill Cosby. But I think outside of that, outside of those two guys. No, nothing that a black person does in entertainment can get them cancelled. Nothing. Zero. It doesn't happen. It's not a thing. Maybe in sports, that might be an issue, um, especially if you rely on the paycheck through the sports channels, whether it's, you know, Michael Vick with, you know, um, dog fighting, whether it's uh, the British press, you know, uh, smear campaign against, you know, Mason Greenwood is happening at the moment. If he gets into a couple more, you know, uh, fracases or, you know, you know, unfortunate instances he will probably end up it will probably end up affecting his career but i think apart from that i can't think of anyone else in hip-hop in grime and rap and afro beats even who's who's the afro beats guy who got accused of rape as well right he's and his case has got completely dropped like nothing you know it didn't affect anything in his way either it just seems to be i don't know what what it is maybe it's because as a as a group of as a race of people or as a group of people or as a subculture we just don't give a crap about it in general but it's just quite interesting to see it right that the thing that's getting more pushback from skeptic or the thing that kind of is causing him the most grief online which i'm sure he doesn't give a shit about is him just posting an innocuous picture of pretty patel sitting down in the house of commons but when it comes to anybody pulling him up about his friends who you know two of his friends are associated with uh, bbk who are now in prison for some very very serious crimes nothing gets affected no sponsors dropping no shows cancelled uh no record label you know no record yeah no album scrapped nothing zero just again you, you can't blame the guy for the sins of his friends but still you know these are people that are known associates of that group work closely linked to them right uh plenty of shout outs on on dubs and stuff you know directly if anything you would imagine if this happened to anyone else outside of hip-hop that there will be an issue right imagine if i don't know let's throw it out there harris one of harry styles friends was accused of roofing a couple of girls and got convicted for it but harry styles would be in a lot of bother right he couldn't just appear on fallon the next day like nothing happened he'd have to address it in some way shape or form he'd be called you know 
people would be questioning whether or not he actually knew if he took part, was he complicit, blah, 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 blah. But for Skepta, it seems to be pretty, you know, pretty Teflon. So this, these attacks won't really work. Um, it's just funny as well, just watching it on a timeline, people are freaking out because he's posting a picture of somebody that he might think looks attractive. It's just funny anyway, just from the outside looking in. But what can you do?